Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I'm Tenille. I'm Sean and oh, that look in your eyes. So you found yourself a sail, have you? We have. Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. We as even the... got it on sale. Yeah, it was a sail sail. It was a sail sail. I'm a sailor. Yeah. He was selling the sail on a sail sail. <laughs> Very well. Let's do this. She'll teach you how to sail. We're gonna I already said become, that. We're gonna learn how to become door-to-door -door salesman. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. Hoist the sail you got with me with A to get moving. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The arrow that appears behind me indicates wind direction. Use the left stick to steer if you wish to move quickly. You should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press B to put the sail away. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Did you understand all that? Yup. Ah, one more thing. When you are out at sea with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place we should currently be heading for on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, press or select map displayed on the Wii U gamepad to open your sea chart. You can also pause the game with a plus and confirm your position. Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let, let it carry us to the east. Huh? All right, away we go. So yeah, what he's saying is essentially if you are facing the same direction, of the wind. We're going to sail faster than say if we went sideways or, or directly to go backwards. Back. Doesn't go very fast. Yeah. If you want, you can also put away the sail and then you can cruise along with the ZR button, which is significantly slower to be sure, but it uh, is an option if you need it. Yeah, you can see, you know. We, we lose a little bit of our speed when we put it away, and boop, there it comes back again. Mm -hmm. And off we go. We are heading towards another island for reasons I don't even remember what we're doing. Ooh, and every now and again, fun little mini games like this pop up. Give us all the money. Now, that there on the left was just a raft with an enemy on it. Oh, you showing off you can do the jump? Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh you should, like, see what's on this floating platform here. So, this should have enemies on it, but I believe if you take them all out, you sometimes get a gift of some sort. Yeah. All kinds of things. It's a surprisingly full sea, all things considered. Goodbye. 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 Well, goodbye. And look at that, we get a chest for our, our troubles. Yeah. That was surprisingly easy. And we get money! What a pleasant surprise. I'll never say no to more money. Good! Because I'm here breaking pots. All the pots. Hop! Sideways jump. We'll get better at that as we go. No ladders for me. And I believe that is Beetle Ship. Yeah. If we wanted to do some shopping again. Oh, oh, oh. I got this. Do the cruise. Thankfully, he does stop if you get close enough. Yeah. It'll be. It'll take us a little bit to get all the controls down. Yeah. What you got for us, Beetle? Uh... Oh, thank you! Stuff! Buy my stuff! 
think it's nothing interesting. No. Bye. We already bought quite a bit of this stuff already. We don't need any more right now. Give us some Sir? new stuff, Beetle. Can I hop? Ah. ah. Almost. I bet you could have done that, but you were unsuccessful. Yeah. Let's see, where was I going? Uh, that way. Right over there. Even more money rupee or money barrels. <laughs> money rupees. Am I wrong? Ah, uh, not really. Look at the seagulls. Oh, watch out for that one. Hop. I cleared it. It's fun to see the sea change as we go along too. Yeah. Changes, looks different, becomes new. And we are nearing another island. Quite the tall mountain. Yes, indeed. Oh my. Whoa, look at that. There on the horizon. That is our destination, Link. Dragon Roost Island. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Well, hey, Beetle. Beetle just followed us here. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. This is the Wind Waker. It is of a horn of sorts that I was used that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. I'm I'm done with that. No! <laughs> but he's talking like this. Even so. <laughs> I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. We got it. We got the namesake. The Wind Waker. First, conduct in three-fourths time. Do not touch the left stick. Just try to match the rhythm by tilting the right stick up, down, and right. Very nice, that was splendid. Next is 4-4 four, four time. Hold the stick left to or the left stick left to change the rhythm. Then match the rhythm and tilt alright stick up, right, left, and then down. So yeah, we have different forms of uh, music times. Yeah. That's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct with it in 6-4 time by tilting the stick left stick right. You would do well to remember that. You won't need it for a while, though. Yeah. You receive the legendary Wind Waker. By using this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. What those powers are, we don't know yet. Use the right stick to conduct. Don't tilt left stick to con... Don't tilt the left stick to conduct in 3 fourth time, hold left to conduct in 4-4, four, four, hold right to conduct in 6-4. So that essentially means how many beats Also, are. where'd you get that? What? I'm the a talking boat. Why are you asking me questions? <laughs> Wind shrine to the left, mail center, up. Okay. I guess we should go do some exploring. Yeah. Is this the Wind Shrine? Also, our baton is now just set to the up on the D-pad. There appear to be markings indicating specific directions. Oh, well, we just learned about uh, markings like that. Yeah. Hey, we learned the Wind's Requiem. So, 
to explain a little bit of how to use the baton correctly. Mm-hmm. Mm. You're gonna have to wait, Mr. Frog. So <laughs> you're just gonna have to leave it on this image for a second. Mm -hmm. The baton, when you first choose a direction, you start the first beat, and then there's a little metronome that goes above the symbols at the top, mm -hmm. and you just need to choose the correct direction before that uh, metronome gets back to the center, and that will be the note that it plays. Mm -hmm. It's not really a rhythm thing. Like, it kind of is a mm -hmm. rhythm thing, but, like, it's really, really, really forgiving. It's yeah. not difficult to do. It's more so just make sure you're there before you need to be. Yeah, and you remember, you know, what direction it is you want to mm -hmm. go. And, on. as a bonus note, on the gamepad, it tells you what... Uh, all your songs What are. all your songs are. Mm -hmm. Ah, the name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. I'm a frog. So <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? So you're the new Wind Waker, are you? That's the title of the game. Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. Is he the one that has that broken tablet there? It saddens me to say that my brother, Cyclos, is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. Yep. So, if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request to you. Goodbye! Well... Well, that was neat. Ding! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, now we can just play the Wind's Requiem whenever we want. It's broken. And if we do, we can change the wind direction to any direction we want. I'm sure that'll become more useful at some point. Yeah. I don't see where we could possibly, possibly use have that. to use that. Yeah, I know, right? In a game called Wind Waker, the Wind Waker's probably just there for show. Yeah. Well, no getting up this way. So. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Danger! Do not attack the explosive fruit. It's bomb flowers. You pick them, and then after a very short period of time, they explode. They have a very short time. Yeah, I noticed that. I think I can get these over here. Huh. Okay, I think it explodes faster once you throw it. Yeah. It does have a slightly longer time while holding it. Oh, that did get it. Yeah. I'm a little surprised. It's hopeful. Nice, nice, There is nice. just money everywhere. Yeah, we're rolling in the dough. Up. Oh. Oh, dear. I don't think we can do anything about that yet, but that is no. good to keep in mind. Yeah. Also, there's something over there. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the thing. These are islands. We can go anywhere, anywhere we them. want on the islands, so yeah. many islands will have things that are hidden off to the sides. There's quite a bit of money, and there's some spot for a box here. Yeah, looks like an indent. Ah! ah. Looks like a box gets pushed out there. Yeah. Don't know how we'll do that, but good to keep in mind. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess in the meantime, I, we just keep blowing stuff up. Wow. Hello. That was a bunch of money. So much money. Now, I think we should check the shop again, because... Beetle shop? Yeah. Important thing to note about beetle shop. Every single island... At? He has something different. Hey, beetle! Oftentimes, it's still going to be the fairly basic, useless stuff, but... I like anyway. that. <laughs> but on specific islands, he has very rare stuff. 
Then we're definitely gonna want to see him there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Did the rocks reset? Some of them. Only some of them. Okay. okay. The the ones that weren't obstructing the path have reset. Yeah. Also, I don't think we've noted it yet, but the music here is fantastic. Ah, oh, this music is some of my favorite in Zelda, like, Games. period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's right up there with, like, Gerudo Desert. You're not alone. People love this song. Dragon Roost Island. Main center. Main center. M Male, Male center. Bah! Male center. Yeah. Not main cylinder. Main selection. Male to be do. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, they really need to fix their bridge. Yeah. What's with these towns and their bridges being out? I don't know, but they are... Come on, keep going, Link. Bad at this. Well, hey, I think you might have just made yourself a shortcut if you jump down. Then you can pull that block out, and there you go. Now you can just climb up whenever you want. Don't have to go all the way around. We haven't looked at one of these Good yet. Good morning. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What ca what do you have for delivery? Nothing. Hey, we know you. Link? Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased that you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... Hmm. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? Yeah! I've told my people here about you, and all of us Ritu are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our Airy. It is settled then. I'll file. I'll fly ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. I love their like their arms that turn into wings. Like they yeah. don't have wings normally, they have hands, but then, but they, then can they, just they have like these them. long robes and then when they just take off, they just turn into wings. Yep. They're... Like I really want to know what the modeling going on there I is. I think it's probably some sort of model swap. Yeah. But it's, it is cool because like their arms just transform into wings when they fly around. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I guess we should go visit the village. Man, there are bird people everywhere. Well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Valu's anger? Ah, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profound, profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is the scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu or Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. 
as chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to resolve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Okay. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Komali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Komali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Yeah, I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may be of better help. We may better help you with yours. I have something that I wish to give my son. Wish for you to give my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Here, Link, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. We got another bag! It's a delivery <laughs> so bag. So many bags! Yeah, seriously, we have three different bags now. With so many pockets, it can hold lots of things. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Komali. Okay, bye. I, guess... I just got here. Um... So many bird people. Yeah, and they're all mailmen. Ah, you're the fledgling the chieftain mentioned, aren't you? I feel as though I should tell you, despite what he may seem like right now, young Master Kamali is quite a pleasant child. His father, the chieftain, is quite busy, but Kamali's never once complained. Though I'm sure he's been lonely at times, he's the chieftain's son through and through. However, his grandmother passed recently, and Kamali seems lost. His confidence is... gone. His grandmother was always with him, you see. Great, great woman. The sparkling ball that the young master keeps with him was actually a gift from the other from the great Valu to Kamali's grandmother. Oh, poor kid. If you want to get to Dragon Roost Cavern, I've got some bad news for you. The bridge is out. There's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you'll understand once you've seen it for yourself. As for swimming across, well, you need water for that and the pond's all dried up. No need to panic, though. I'm sure the chieftain will think of something. I'm assuming that is this direction. Oh. Yeah. Looks like a big mess in here. Yeah. You guys are just having all sorts of problems, aren't you? Well, let's go up and see if we can find Medley. Yeah. Hey, I know you, yeah. You're the adventure guy, sailing from island to island, action, excitement, right? Nothing must go on in these seas if we're the talk of all the towns. <laughs> so, with all the adventuring you do, do you happen to have a golden feather? My girlfriend, she's won one of those for the longest times. And actually, I kind of promised that I'd send one to her. Oh. <laughs> we, we do not, but we'll keep that in mind. Also, hello. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant of the Great Sky Spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. What am I thinking? Here, this is from the Chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. It's a piece of mail! You accepted father's mail or father's letter. It is a letter from a father addressed to his son. Don't you you guys live on the same island? You can't just give it to him? Since uh, you received a fine delivery bag, why don't you use it carry this letter down to Kamali? 
Well, they have to have a tutorial quest. <laughs> the room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He's kind of a brat. Uh, he has no inten bad intentions, I promise. Uh, by the way, um, listen, Link. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of the Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Hmm. Okay. We got a date later. Ha 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 ha. Also, hello. Well, now. <laughs> I always find this guy so funny. So, this guy is based off of the mailman from older Legend of Zelda games, but now he's a bird. Yep, but now he's a bird man, and it's really funny. We kind of had the same guy in Twilight Princess. There was a postman, but, but he, he, he looks different. different. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, I've not seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm. You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Uh, sure. Oh, excellent. That's good. But first, I s to see if you can, if I can use you or not, I need to give you a little test. Just a small one. Match the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter into that shelf. Really easy. Simple. Use left stick to select the shelf. Press A to throw a letter. Like I said, simple. Is that clear? Yeah. Before the time runs out, you have to sort at least ten letters. Okay. Gotta go fast. <sighs> give your best shot. Okay. Oh, shoot, no! Well, you got 18. 18 letters, great, good, terrific. You pass. Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters that comes to a grand total of nine rupees, am I right? Come back any time. I mean it, any time. The more letters you sort, the more you'll learn. Not a bad deal for both of us. All right. I think we get something special if we get a high enough score from him as well. I think so. Should I try it again? Yeah. I think we should try this a couple of times, see if we can do it. All right. Hey, you ready for work? Yeah. You already understand what you need to do? Let's do it. If you can sort 20 or more letters, you'll see some nice financial gain. All right. Go ahead, get started. I like all these ones that it's giving me in a row. Hey, you got 22. Woo! Nicely done. That's 22 letters. Splendid. Superb. Hmm. Your your salary this time is one rupee per letter, so I need to pay you 22 rupees. Come by in time and mean it. Anytime. The better you do, the higher your salary will become. That's economics. So talk to him again. You need some work? If you can sort 25 letters or more, your salary will really jump. I mean it. Get ready. Oh good, okay, I can use the D-pad. Oh, that seems like it's probably easier. Yeah. Yeah.
you got 26! Yeah! 26 letters! You have an amazing coordination. Seriously, I'm stupefied. Incredu incredulous! We veterans do this all day long, and even we have hard, a hard time reaching that amount. I'm just the best. Yeah! I've got to give you more money. Got to. Three rupees per letter comes to 78 rupees. How does that sound? Pretty good. Hey, your name wouldn't happen to be Link, would it? It is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I thought you looked about the lad that the chieftain was talking about. In that case, I should have expected you to be able to pull, the, pull off something like this. I've heard all about you, yes. I sure have. You've had a rough time, Link. I feel bad making you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helpers just arrived. Maybe you can give him some advice the next time you come by. Okay. Maybe we'll come by again then. Yep. Hop! And, uh, yeah, now we go deliver that letter. I can never remember if you got, like, a piece of heart from that or if it was just a good money-making tactic. Yeah, I don't remember either. We haven't really looked at any guides for this game because we feel like we remember quite a bit of it. Eventually we will be <laughs> looking up guides to know exactly how to get everything, but until then... Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, right. Um, <clears throat> you have a letter. You just got a letter. A letter? From my father? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a skill from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me something who... Someone who can get past all the obstacles in Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Hmm. Well then. Looks like we've got a problem to solve on our hands. Indeed. Also, that orb that he's holding looks pretty magical and like something we want. Probably. I mean, didn't we need to get some sort of special magical orb for the boat? But he said we were going to get it from the dragon. Yeah. Though at the same time, the dragon... Apparently gave... That to his... That kid's grandmother. Yeah. So maybe that's what we need to do. Hey, and Medley! Now Medley's down here. Hey, you actually came! Oh, I'm really sorry for bringing you su to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a beautiful spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, oh, he became so angry and in his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where's my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. Hmm. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Valu. But I'm not yet worthy to be mentioned in the same breath as her. If I'd only possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Oh, Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind, wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. 
Are you sure about that? The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay attention to the direction of the wind. All right, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Um, yep, we're picking up girls. Ha! Hey. We're a chick magnet. Ha! ha! <laughs> <laughs> gotta make all the jokes. All right, so, so yeah, we've gotta watch the wind here. Oh, and? That was the perfect time. Yeah. Just watch the ashen fire particles flying around to know what direction the wind is blowing so we can throw her at the right time. Because mm -hmm. if we throw her when it's going in another direction, she won't make it. Right, because she's a she's a fledgling. You she's gotta just, go get her wings. Well, she already has her wings, but she's not learned very how to good use at them very well. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. I think I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Is exactly what somebody says when they're not going to be fine. <laughs> I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. An empty bottle? Beautiful. What are you talking about? That's a fantastic item. That Bottles fantastic are incredibly item. useful in the Legend of Zelda series, and it still holds true here. And it's actually the item we're going to need to progress. Yeah. Uh, I also just want to say, like, as an artist, I really like all the different colors coming out from the bottle. Mm. Like, that is a nice kaleidoscope of colors. Yeah. Oh, and... It gave us a little hint there. Bottles are great for holding water and other such things. Mm -hmm. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Well, I'm sure everything is going to be a-okay, and this won't be something we're going to have to mess with next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Yeah, until then we'll just splash around in this puddle. Yeah. See you then.